Grace and peace to you. And today I want to talk to you about the young man behind us. His name is Terrence Gangster Williams, and he's responsible for 40 people being deleted. And um, he has actually confessed this and, and talked about this. Uh, I heard some say that uh, he didn't personally delete 40 people, but responsible for 40 people's lives, whatever way it may be, that's a lot of lives. Um, the one thing that really scares me about um, Terrence Gangsta Williams is that, you know, he got people believing and thinking that he has reformed, right? That he has changed because he is doing some different things and making different moves. But you got to understand that even the mafia moves differently now versus how they moved 20 and 30 years ago, right? Um, you know, you, you hear various mafia guys talking and speaking about, you know, you can't just go in, into a bar or somewhere and delete somebody and take their life because, um, you know, there's too much technology and, and the surveillance that they have. You surely will uh, end up getting caught, right? And so you, you can't get away with the homicides that you got away with 20, 30, and even going back to my time, 40, 40 years ago and 50 years ago, you just can't get away with it today. And so I... I know that a lot of people are changing and shifting how they move and how they make their money and how they do things because of that. So, but the, 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 the thing of it is, is that a lot of these people are still killers, right? And um, Terrence Gangster Williams, he received an award not so long ago for being reformed. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really believe that he's been reformed. I really don't believe that he has really changed. I believe he still has a killer heart. I believe that in his mindset, um, and he has even said that, you know, he don't regret anything that he has um, done in his past, right? Because he said, hey, they were gangsters just like me. But I remember a movie I was watching, and a popular movie that everyone knows about, The Godfather, right? Remember when Bonacera, uh, the, um, the undertaker, came to him about his daughter being brutally beaten and he wanted justice. And so he wanted the Godfather to kill the two men who beat his daughter and raped her, I believe. And um, and uh, the Godfather refused to do it, right? And so Bonacera said, I just want justice. But Vito Corleone, the Godfather said, that's not justice, why? Because your daughter is still alive. And so, you know, when you say that you have no regret, there's a couple of things I want to say, uh, address about that. Number one, you have killed people, right, who you didn't even know. If you listen to some of uh, uh, Terrence Gangster Williams' stories, he talks about how that he was just picked up when he was young and told to go kill someone. He really didn't know what this person had done and, and didn't know too much about the individuals. And they just pointed to kill that person. Either they paid him or whatever he did, whatever they wanted him to do. So there was no life taken. You said gangsters. There was no life taken in a lot of these. Almost like somebody disrespected you. Somebody owed you some money or whatever it may have been. But it was not justice as a gangster would look at it for like the Godfather, you know, because the person didn't kill anyone. And so, you know, when you say you have no regret because they were gangsters like you were gangsters, you know, let me just say number two in regards to that is that you can't really change unless you repent. And regret, when you regret something, that is a part of repentance. It's a decision to change your mindset about what you've done and feel sorry, feel bad, feel guilty, feel horrible about the things that you've done because these are human lives, right? And no matter how you look at it, you can't justify murder, right? Not in the sight of God, right? Um, uh, we are to value human life. And so, you know, for those reasons, you know, when I see a uh, gangster Terrence Williams, you know, uh, on these shows, it's almost like he's glorifying death. He's glorifying these things. And I'll be honest with you, he still scared me, you know, from the perspective of, I think he still is a gangster. You know, he's trying to change his name. I think he still is a killer. And he talked about how he'll still kill for his brothers and, and different things like that. You know, there's some instance where he said he would probably walk away and wouldn't say anything, do anything. But some things he said he'd still kill for. That's because he's still a killer. And that's because he has not repented or he has not really changed. And that's what you call 
not being reformed, but yet he's getting an award for being reformed and he hasn't even been out that long. It's amazing how, you know, we just run around and award and, and, and praise people and they haven't even proven that they have changed yet, right? It takes time to really change, you know, it takes at least a couple of years to get a strong foundation. And then after that, it takes time because you haven't really been tested, tested, right? Uh, yes, of course, the internet, there's a lot of foolishness going on. You might have been tested that way, but everybody's doing that. But when it comes to real life situations, you haven't been tested, right? I'm from the streets myself, but <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not no killer like like uh, Terrence Against the Wind was 40, 40, 40 people. Uh, you took 40 lives, man. And the harm that I did do while I was out there, I regret, I repent. I turn completely from that. When I think about lives that were harmed, um, it bothers me right now today, and I really regret it even when I think about it, right? Because these are, are human beings, and you should value life. And if you don't have a value for life, you're never going to regret it. And so my thing is I would I would call Terrence Gangster Williams to kind of rethink the way he's presenting himself, glorifying the violence, glorifying the murders and things like that. And making himself look like he's still a killer and a bad guy, or whatever, which I believe he, you know, he still is. He hasn't really changed, and and really turn from that and become a, a real, true, decent person. You know, of course you're not going to be out there shooting, and killing people like you used to, because you can't get away with it. And not only that, but you will get got too, right? Because there's there are people out there that <laughs> they ain't playing around either. And just like you have a gun or whatever it is, they have one too. And just like you can delete somebody's life, they can delete yours too. And so, you know, you can only get away with this stuff so long. And remember, you've been shot before, you've been gotten before. So uh, you just happen to God to have mercy on you and you live. And you ought to be thankful to God. And you ought to find a place where you can repent and really turn from all these evil things and regret it. I hear people say, um, I don't regret, you know, my past because it made me who I am today. I'm going to tell you, like, I regret my past and I wish I can go back and change it because whatever I am today, you know, yes, I got to live with it. And and it, and, and it, my life is like a, a delicious cake, right? You have your bitter and you have your sweet, right? And you bring it together and you make a delicious pie. And that is for sure. But on the other side of that coin, if I can go back and change some of those bitter points in my life, I would go back and change those things, right? I would have never joined the gang, never got involved in the violence, never got involved in the crime and would have took another path. But it is what it is. And I have to uh, 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 play the hand that was dealt to me. But I do regret the life that I lived in the past and I repent and I turn from it. I renounce it. And that's what um, Terrence Gangster Williams needs to do instead of going around trying to make it seem like, he, you know, he, I shouldn't say seem like a gangster because I really believe he still is a gangster. He still is a killer and that's scary, you know, so he needs to be careful. So I just, uh, that's what I want to address. I just want to tell this brother to, to tone it down and really find a true place of repentance where you could turn from all these evil things and do the right thing. All right, God bless you guys. Thank you for viewing it. And please like, share, comment, and pass it along. All right, God bless you.